Hi, this is uh, Stefan with the Cash for Gold Star, and today we'll be teaching you how to test your precious metals. So, the three big, uh, most common precious metals are platinum, gold, and silver. Okay. Whenever you buy precious metals, you want to buy the, the kit. It's called an acid test kit, and it'll come in a number of different solutions. You're going to have your 10 karat gold solution, 14, platinum, 22, your silver solution, and there's also another solution that's the 18 karat gold solution. So one of the things you'll need also is a magnet and the testing stones. So to do this, what you do is you grab you know, your piece of gold or jewelry and you take it, like for example, this is a charm, and you take it to the stone and you go like this until you get a nice gold line. And when your gold line is pretty good, you look at it, make sure it's fully there. What you're going to do is you're going to take your solution. In this case, we're going to start with a 10 karat gold solution. Uh, most jewelers start with the 10 karat, so they can kind of get an idea if it's going to be more than 10 karat or not. Uh, in the United States, technically, if it's less than 10 karat, you cannot really sell it as gold, or it cannot be considered gold, even though there's gold in it. So all you need to do is just put a little drop on it, and it'll tell you if it's gold or not. So you can see in this case that the acid did not eat away the line. The line is still kind of there, it's completely there. Uh, it, it had a very small reaction but it wasn't significant. Now we're going to show you what it looks like when it eats it away completely. So this is what it looks like when it eats away completely. If it eats it away completely it means that it's under that care amount. So this is the 22 karat gold solution so we know that this is in no way shape or form even close to 22 carats. But we do know it's close to 10 carats because it did not eat the 10 carat away. Now, when you're doing white gold, you're going to have a very similar experience. White gold, even though it's white, it's going to kind of scratch yellow. It's not going to scratch as yellow as yellow gold, obviously. But it will still be pretty yellowy. You want to get a nice line across here. See what the line looks like. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll take the 10 karat solution and we'll put it on there. So, as you can see, it's, it's at least 10 carats. It's right around 10. If we put the 14 on it, the line will disappear. We're going to go ahead and put some 14 on it so you can kind of get an idea. This is the 14 solution. See how the line is very, how it's being eaten away by, by the acid right there. Whereas this one is still, is still visible. Go ahead, we'll do this one, we'll do this one too. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the platinum test. Most people don't have platinum. Platinum is very expensive, but the test is the same. So what you do is you take your platinum and you just scratch it. And you make a nice line, scratch it for a few minutes, or 30 seconds should be enough. Get a nice line, and then you take the platinum tester. You can also use a uh, 18 or the 22 karat gold tester, and it's, it's, I've heard that it's worked. I mean, that's something you can use to try if you don't have the platinum. And as you can see, it's not eating it away at all. It's completely there. You can also know it's um, platinum by its hardness. Platinum is a very, very hard metal. You're not going to be able to cut into it, even though it scratches pretty easily. One of the last tests is silver. Out of all the tests, this, this is the, by far the trickiest one. So the way to test silver is you take the silver solution and you're going to put it right directly on top of the silver item. So like this. So in this case it turns like a reddish color. As you can see it, it remains red. You know that it's pure silver. It's real silver. Um, you'd have to look online to, and look at the directions of your silver test. Uh, if it's dark red, or light red, the difference between those two is going to be something along the lines of uh, almost 8%. So one is going to be almost 99% silver, the other one is going to be 92.5% silver, which is, which is uh, uh, sterling silver. So now we're going to show you what it looks like if it's not silver. If it's not silver, it's going to turn a bluish color. So you're going to see, we're going to put it on a regular quarter. Uh, we know this quarter is not silver. And we're going to let that sit there for a couple of minutes so you can get an idea of what it looks like. 
I'll actually move it towards you so you can get an idea. Now, when it comes to silver, make sure you're wearing gloves. It will turn your hands black. It'll look like you've been bruised. Okay. So this is the first way to test gold, platinum, and silver. The second way, which is also uh, very effective, is to take the piece of gold, platinum, or silver and to actually put the, dust, the solution directly on it. So what we will do in this case is we'll take this ring and we can put the 20, we'll put the 10 carat solution, which is right here. And you'll see that there's going to be almost no difference. The, the reason there's no difference is because the 10 carat solution is not really reacting with the gold. Okay. Now we're going to put the 22 on it. And you're going to see the difference between the 22. As you can see, it's it's reacting, it's bubbling up. There's there's some greenness to it. There's definitely something going on there. And from this going on, you know that it's not that. The other thing it does, it's going to turn it brown. It's going to turn the whole part really really dark color. So let me pick it up here. You don't want to get acid on your hands, but you can see what happened to it. It doesn't even look like a gold ring anymore. Okay. So, this is how you test gold, platinum, and silver. Uh, the other test that you can do, which is easy, uh, but it's not uh, definitive, because there's a lot of metals that are not uh, magnetic, but you can use the magnet test. If the magnet test works, if, which means that it's not picking up the item, you know there's a possibility for it being gold. Obviously, this is not gold, platinum, or silver. Thank you for watching uh, this presentation on how to test your gold, platinum, and silver. If you have any questions, write us. And uh, this has been brought to you by the Cash for Gold store.